Yes, hi Yasmin, this is Michael from the Seven Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT. I'm the founder, the owner, and the materials writer. So if I remember your question, uh, your question uh, correctly, uh, it looks like you are uh, working on improving your integrated writing tasks and you say on the TOEFL you don't do very well and you're one of my students right now and you're asking me to edit the essay to go over some of the grammatical problems that you're having, right? To give you an idea of maybe why you're scoring around 22 points out of 30, am I right? Okay, now obviously I cannot do this on every essay you take, it's very time consuming, but I am going to take a few minutes and take a look at this essay. So I'll be making corrections as I go. In this set of materials, the reading passage discusses the reason behind the three trips of Columbus from Spain. See, this, I don't think you need to say this. Huh? What if you did this? You take this idea of Columbus, So Columbus is three trips from Spain, right? So just put the apostrophe there, that way you don't have to say of Columbus. So anytime you can reduce one of your either clauses or your phrases to a single word, it's even better. So it says uh, behind Columbus is three trips from Spain. However, in the listening passage, this is going to kill your grammar right here because if you say in the listening passage, you're making that a prepositional phrase and you have no subject. If you do this and say the listening passage argues that this reason is completely wrong and that Columbus traveled for a totally different reason. Okay, that's okay. So those are my changes so far. According to the reading, Columbus traveled from Spain to prove that the earth is round. Now, even though it's past, you're talking about what's called a general truth. So using the present tense to talk about the earth being round is good. I would say at the first voyage, in the first voyage, I'm going to say after. And you don't need to capitalize first, just say uh, after the first voyage, Columbus returned. So that way you have your sequence. He went on the voyage and then he returned to Spain with jewels, parrots, and live natives. I'm going to say your writing is a little bit simple here. You need to display more syntactic variety. Let's try this out. Let's say Columbus. ING here, Columbus returning to Spain with jewels, parrots, and live natives wanted to impress the king and the queen. Now, if you capitalize king, you have to capitalize queen. So either both or none at all. So I'm going to just say wanted to impress the king and the queen. I'm going to say not at the second time, maybe. During. His second. Maybe say during his second trip, he stopped by an island to rest. And then say when many of the crew members were assassinated. You should use the word killed here. Were killed by the natives. Usually assassinated is a different vocabulary word. Typically assassinated, Yasmin, is we're talking about somebody who's killed for political purposes, something like that. Probably the natives didn't do it for that reason. Just say killed. So the crew members were killed by the natives. Afterwards, I'm going to put Columbus because you've already said he before.
Columbus and maybe So it's something like this. You have to remind the, the reader every now and then that the information that you're mentioning here is not your information. So afterwards, Columbus, the reading passage states, started to treat people there with cruelty after he was able to build houses. Then Columbus returned back You see, you have Columbus, and then Columbus, your sentence style was too simple. You're repeating sometimes, a little bit unnecessary, say, then Columbus returned back. Actually, you don't need to say when here, just say, then Columbus returned back and went on his last trip. Decided to go. No, you have a verb. No, you wait a minute here. You have returned here, which is a verb. You have decided, which is a verb. You can't use double verbs. But what if you did this? Let's try this out. Okay, watch closely. I'm going to say, I'm going to change it to ing. Comma, and comma, deciding to go to the coast of Venezuela. He, he means Columbus, right? He went on his last trip. Now, and what we've done here is we're, we're combining some of your shorter sentences. You don't have what I call good syntactic variety. You're using very similar, uh, very similar type writing style. Notice you say the same story repeated, Columbus started, he was. Subject, verb, subject, verb, subject, verb. Go back to my TOEFL grammar lesson on sentence variety. You gotta do more of that. Your, your writing's not going to do very well if you keep using the same grammar. It doesn't demonstrate what we call advanced grammar or advanced writing. So you say, then Columbus returned back and deciding to go to the coast of Venezuela, he went on his last trip. The same story repeated itself. You don't have to say again when you say repeated, that's kind of redundant. Maybe say this, where? He went on his last trip where the same story repeated itself. Columbus started to treat the people badly there. And therefore was sent to prison. Yeah, maybe use that. Okay, so I've made some changes. So a lot of times it looks like some of your biggest issues here are dealing with using more advanced kind of grammar. You're using very, very simple grammar. Your sentences are too short. You have to do a little bit better than what you're doing here if you want to score higher than 22. So your final paragraph, you say, however, in the, in the listening passage, The professor totally denied the reason behind Columbus's traveling traveling to all these trips, traveling on all these trips. Let's say destinations.
maybe give you a little bit of a different vocabulary word here. So he and all the people at this time knew that the earth was round, not flat. So let's put a comma there. Sometimes when you use like something which is the opposite of something else, something which is in contrast, you'll set it apart with a comma. I'm going to say the speaker asserts that, or the speaker in the lecture asserts that, claims, right? Again, make sure that we know who is saying this. So the speaker asserts that ancient Greeks, I understand capitalizing Greeks, but not ancient. So I'm going to just not capitalize that, that ancient Greeks were the first to discover that the earth I'm going to say is. You said is before. Let's be consistent. You're talking about a general truth, so using the simple present to express general truths is okay. So the speaker asserts that ancient Greeks were the first to discover that the earth is round. However, the debate in the third centuries between The debate in the third century, you need a verb in there, was if you mean two philosophers, say between philosopher Socrates and Aristotle, if you mean more than two, then say among. So the debate in the third century, I'm going to just put singular here. The debate in the third century was among philosophers. concerning the size of the earth and how big I, if you say how big the oceans uh, that's not going to work because you're saying the size concerning the size of the earth and its oceans. So maybe you say this, however, the debate in the third century was among philosophers concerning the size of the earth and its oceans. So the idea that Columbus let's get rid of that and just say this. The idea that Columbus sailed I'm going to say this the idea that Columbus sailed to prove that the earth is round is not true at all. It was all made, made up by atheists who don't believe, I'm going to say past tense because they're no longer alive, who didn't believe about God at all. You can actually cap capitalize God. They wanted to create a war between science and religion. Let's get rid of that they and say this maybe. It was all made up by atheists who didn't believe about God and who wanted to create a war between science and religion. At that time, there were a lot of books, a lot's two words. There were a lot of books published that added evidence. I'm going to say to that war. Columbus
And then at the very end, according to the lecture, Columbus was Christian. I'm going to say a Christian. Who? Past tense, not present. Who wanted to spread the religion. Which was his primary reason behind his travels. All right, so there it is. So I've, I've made a few corrections. I've probably missed something in there here and there, but generally I went through the essay, I went through it line by line, paragraph by paragraph, and I think the biggest issue that you're having right now is you need to create uh, more advanced sentence styles. You, you have to do better than what you're doing right now if you want to score higher uh, on the uh, TOEFL IBT writing tasks. This applies not just for your integrated writing task, but also for the independent writing task. So again, I'm pretty sure that this essay would probably score around 20 points out of 30. So you, you do have too many problems. You have verb tense problems, problems combining sentences. Sometimes you put S when it's not needy. You don't put it when it is. So you do have a few issues in there editing things that you need to work these things out if you want to get better than what you are right now. So don't rule out, there are some things you can do that can definitely make your writing better. Remember, reading magazines is also very useful. Reading books, reading newspapers, and reading these things, it, it helps you see good grammar, good vocabulary, good sentence style, how to create a certain tone in writing. It gives you a lot of exposure to the language and then eventually you'll start using some of these things in your own writing. Okay, anyway, thank you for uh, your email, and I hope I've given you some ideas to get you going in the right direction.